So this week is Supernatural Week. Did you know that? I didn't know that until yesterday. Last night I got very lost walking back from a house party and ended up going through this graveyard. So I took some photographs to see if I could catch any interesting orbs or shit like that. And these other photographs I did, I have not touched them in any way, as you can't see sod all on them because it was only done on my Samson S3 in the middle of the night walking through graveyards whilst I was bleeding from so many cuts in my legs because of thorns! Uh, I've had a few interesting supernatural, well, maybe not supernatural experiences, but some interesting experiences which are hard to explain. I remember when I was in college I had to do this assignment which was a CD cover case for whatever album or band we could come up with and I went down to a graveyard and took some photographs and when I inverted the colours it went from normal photographs to massive huge orbs absolutely everywhere in this photograph. If you want to test it out just go down to your local graveyard with a camera and start taking photographs in the middle of the night. I'm sure no one will think that's weird or strange if they see you doing it. And then just import them onto your computer and invert the colours and see what weird and strange things you can see by doing it. You never know, you might see a big ass huge orb that was floating right in front of you that you never realised was there. I've also had an experience where I was around my brothers and I was asleep on the couch and I thought he'd come in early in the morning and hit me on the head to wake me up so I could go to work because I jolted back a good inch or so and it bloody hurt as well uh, but it was 2.30 in the morning, everyone was asleep and there was no one around I don't know if I was dreaming about someone hitting me in the head and therefore my body jolted back and woke me up but some weird stuff did happen in that flat things get moving or disappearing and then reappearing like months or weeks later uh, things you never thought you could lose or would lose because they're in a safe place they're always in the same place we're getting moved uh, yeah just weird stuff like that and I've heard like people saying that houses are haunted when I've stayed there but there has been like considerably loud bangs and noises and things shifting around the place or sounding like they're being shifting and when you go to check it out nothing's different you know is it the floorboards is it wood um, expanding and detracting because of temperature and changes in the atmosphere you know that's all these things which could explain some of this weird ass stuff but the proper weird stuff like hearing a bang on a window knowing that you're two stories up when you look out the window there's a handprint on the other side of the glass that has made that bang and no one could be up there because there's no way to get up two stories to smack a window in the middle of the night get back down and out before you've gone off the couch and looked at the window and opened it and looked down it takes three seconds to do that you would have seen some if someone was there so there's still these weird things that happen and I enjoy watching things like ghost adventurers or relic hunters and things like that where people go and investigate the past and they see what they can find by using their tools and gadgets to pick up voices in the background or to have conversations with what they think are dead people and then you see apparitions going along I mean if you haven't watched much of Ghost Adventures even if you're a skeptic, definitely watch them, especially the first one with the movie, because 
you see some weird stuff in there. Like I say, even if you're a skeptic, they're all worth watching. It's not something you have to be too interested in. I'm pretty sure if a ghost did say "boo" to me, I'd probably just look at him and go, what are you doing here? Ah, sort of, and walk straight through him. I'm not a massive believer in ghosts and weird stuff like this, but it is interesting to find out the history about these places, the psychological effects of people believing that there's ghosts there. If you watch Paranormal Witness, some of the stories they have on there are weird because they have photographic proof or they have video footage to help back up what they've recreated and you will see some of these houses in different ghost hunting series or as a film like The Haunting in Connecticut, uh, Paranormal Witness did a episode which was the real haunting in Connecticut where they actually interviewed the family that the film was based on and I've got to say that the film is less scary than the documentary about it because there's so much stuff that the film left out and changed uh, the basis of it was correct but the documentary was definitely better than the film of Haunting in Connecticut so watch Paranormal Witnesses uh, The Real Haunting in Connecticut because that is one worth watching uh, there's I saw one the other day where it was Zach Baggins and he went down into the crypts of Paris it was interesting to see he didn't really get much I mean it was interesting to see and hear about the history of the crypts down in Paris uh, full of bones that you literally walk on and some of the cats and files that go down because you're not allowed down there it's legal to go down into the crypts of Paris but the cataphiles go down and they rearrange the bones and they make certain areas look nicer there's places you can pop up there's one place you can pop up through the catacombs and you end up on the top of Notre Dame so you can see the sun rising and stuff like that but it's such an easy place to get lost in he goes down with the police and one of the policewomen just turns around and goes yeah we're lost he's like what do you mean we're lost he's like well we're lost what do you think I mean and there's huge nets and no one says anything about this and there's supposedly things like werewolves down there whether or not it's just gangs with dogs I would probably believe that more than a werewolf thing uh, but Paranormal Witness did one where it was supposedly a guy who was a werewolf and when he died loads of people, well a couple of people went round to his house and in the back was a massive metal room with massive claw marks and it was proper steel that was there so it would need some force and they were all over the room kind of thing so it's not something you could easily do yourself even with the help of instruments and tools but it's whether or not you believe in it or you don't and if you do believe in it then that's great it's you know fantastic that you think that there's something else after death uh, something worth looking into that you hear and you get those voices on your equipment or you take the odd photographs or you see the weird apparitions and things like that they're hard to explain so you don't know if they are supernatural and if they're not and obviously there are a lot of people out there that are skeptics and if you're a skeptic so be it but I, I still think it's all worth looking into and finding out about this week is supernatural week I hope you've been enjoying it all you paranormal experts and adventurers out there have been hopefully doing stuff over this week that involves paranormal activity and for the people that aren't into it at all why have you just watched this video because you see that a lot on YouTube you see a lot of different comments on paranormal documentaries and people are there well trolling it and it's like why are you wasting your time watching it if you don't believe in it what's the point in that you've just wasted 45 minutes to an hour maybe plus depending on how long the documentary is of your life 
So this has been my video for Paranormal Week. Remember to check out the rest of my channel for some more great videos. Remember to enjoy, share, like and subscribe and comment. Remember to follow me on Jekyll69 and until next time, take care and bye. I'm trying to think. Because...